my kids drew a picture on the back of my dad life. First, let me talk about the climbing gym that I built as far as the funds. Now, Clarksville Climbing Gym is a small bouldering gym, 3,000 square feet of climbing surface. Plus, we had a classroom and a little bit of retail. In opening that up, was about $150,000 to get that open and accepting people coming in. Now, that was 100% DIY, and your experience can be different. It could be more expensive, it could be less expensive. From everybody that I've talked to, $150,000, that's pretty cheap. DIY is gonna help, but if I were to open up a climbing gym again, I would probably have professionals come in and do their part. Act your part. With Clarksville Climbing Gym, I was the owner, and I should have been acting as the owner, not the builder, the designer, the blah, 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 blah everything. I was wearing every hat, and probably not a good idea. Uh, so in the future, I'm probably gonna have a hired team come in and do everything and I will manage all of those pieces as they're coming in and going out and make it successful that way. Now this gym there in Marin, it is 18,000 square feet of climbing surface, much bigger than Clarksville Climbing Gym. They have a lot more to offer as well. They have a lot of top rope, they have a lot of lead. Uh, they have a rappel ledge, which I think is really cool. That would actually work really well here in Clarksville. Uh, I don't know if that will work very well in other parts of the country. It seems like the older communities that are kind of uh, back a little bit in time and just kind of like to just take it easy, a rappel ledge would work really well in those areas. And I love Clarksville, and it is a place likes to sit back and take it easy. When you're building a climbing gym, you're gonna look at about $40 a square foot for your climbing surface. That's about what it's gonna cost. That's on the lower end of things. When you start adding things in like arches and steep overhangs or, or weird things, top out boulders, stuff like that, that adds to that cost. So there is three arches a top out boulder, a catwalk, a rappel ledge, there's all kinds of different things in this gym that would have bumped that price of $40 a square feet up. But let's just assume that they got it for $40 a square foot. That is $720,000 to build this gym. That's not including the building, flooring, holds, your starting retail, ropes, draws, rentals, and other equipment like auto belays. Those are all really expensive. Let's go through those. The flooring, if it's a bouldering area, it's gonna cost you about $25 a square foot. Now, prices are going through the roof as far as materials, raw materials go, so this also might be going up as well. But in the past, it was $25 a square foot. Now, I'm not sure. You might wanna call some people uh, Strati Climbing and Asana Climbing are some great flooring companies that I would recommend. Holds, I would recommend that you want to have one hold per square foot of climbing wall. Okay, now you're not going to have all of those holds up at the same time, unless of course you, it's a spray wall or you're really condensing your climbing. Uh, but you need to have some for turnover. You, as you're setting, you need to have some holds set aside so you can kind of refresh the wall and it's a cycle that it goes through. So one hold per square foot, and you're gonna average out about 10 to $15 per hold. It's gonna change if you get the really big expensive ones and they, that's all you want is the really big expensive ones. Um, but you're also, you need foot jibs, you need the little ones as well, and that's where it brings that cost down to something that's a little bit more reasonable of 10 to $12 when you start throwing in those little guys. Start retail. I spent, if I remember right, hmm, I think I spent about $3,000 on my starting retail for Clarksville Climbing. 
I don't know if that was sufficient enough or not. If I do it again, I might not even have retail, believe it or not. Ropes, draws, all that stuff, you're gonna have to look into it. Uh, it is a lot cheaper than if you're going in and buying a rope retail at REI. Uh, you're gonna buy them in, in spools and I, it's been a long time since I've been able to look at the price for a spool, so I can't help you out there. Sorry. Uh, auto belays. Plan on spending about two to three grand on auto belays. Should you open up a climbing gym? I don't know. Do your research. Now, if you would like, I have shared the PDF file that I have for all of these other equipment that I looked into for opening up Clarksville Climbing Gym. I have that shared at climberdad.com. You can go over there and get that for free. I don't even ask for an email right now. That might change soon, so go fast. Like I said, that might change soon. If, if I do require your email, know that I don't send out a whole lot of junk email. If you are on my email subscriber list right now, you know that I don't send out a lot of emails right now. And when I do send out emails, it's because I've got an awesome deal to share with you. It's like this giveaway that I'm gonna talk about right now. The giveaway. The giveaway! The giveaway! This is a KJ3 chalk pot. It is the world's first spill-proof chalk pot. It's made by Kinetic Climbing. I have one myself, I've reviewed this, and I absolutely love it. It holds easily a full four ounce bag of chalk inside there, plus you can put your brush, your, and then you have a pocket on the bottom side that you can put whatever you want in there. In this giveaway, I'm going to be giving away this chalk pot, plus a brush, plus the chalk to fill it, plus some hand salve to heal those hands. All you need to do is comment down below in this video, climbing, and I also want you to do one other thing for me. I want you to share your favorite Climber Dad video. It could be this video, or it could be a video from three years ago. Doesn't matter, share that video, and then email me at theclimberdad at gmail.com with where you shared that. I would love to see where you share it and also what your favorite video is. That'd be great for me to get to know you a little bit better and what you're looking for. If you are outside of the US, you can still enter to win this. However, I am shipping this out of my own pocket and shipping gets super expensive when it starts to go overseas. And I will need to have you help me pay for the shipping to go overseas if whoever wins it is overseas. So keep that in mind. Um, if it's too expensive for you, I completely understand you will have the opportunity to say, yeah, give it to somebody else in the US if it is too expensive for you. So I hope that it's exciting for you and I will see you next time right here on Climber Dad.